All right, Asia Wilson, congratulations. Um, we are going to just jump right into questions and I'm gonna start, I thought it was gonna be Joe Gorchow, but he got pulled away really quick. Um, so we're gonna start with Doug Feinberg right now. Hey Asia, congrats on making your first Olympic team. I'm curious what it was like when you got that phone call from Carol and also what it's like now you're reunited with your friend and former coach, Don Staley. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I was driving and um, I saw Carol was calling and I was just like, oh gosh, like, I was just like, here we go, Asia. Like I felt like good. I was about to get a manicure. I felt I was feeling good. And I was just like, oh goodness. So when she called me and I had to put my car in park cause I just didn't know. I'm like, over on the side of the road kind of in a way and uh she told me and I just instantly like just started like dropping because uh it's just a just a great feeling you know to know that, that you're one of the elite athletes in the world so that that was my that's how my phone call went and to think that I'll be back with coach Staley now it's it's truly amazing like I honestly remember being in college and when she was named head coach of the team, I just started crying. Like I just could not hold back the tears because I was just so proud of Coach Daly and to be a player of hers. So to now be alongside of her in Japan, um, it's definitely going to be a big honor for me just to play underneath her again uh, in this sense, because this is the huge stage, the biggest stage of them all. Thanks, Asia. Yep. And next up, uh, Ben Portnoy. Asia, obviously, Coach Staley was an Olympian. Uh, Coach McRae, when you were at South Carolina, was an Olympian as well. Just ha having been around, you know, some of those women who have been Olympians, what do you kind of know about their experiences? And if so, you know, what, what can you maybe draw from their experiences as well? Yeah, it's crazy. Coach Staley actually just, I mean, Coach McRae called me a couple minutes ago, uh, and she was just welcoming me to the fam. And, I mean, that's what it is. I think that's the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway that I've got from the two of them. Uh, being coached under them is just the family aspect of it. But at the same time, the standard that you have to match at all times. Uh, I mean, we all on this call know uh, the standard that it holds. And, you know, we're bringing different pieces where we're all we're all the big piece on our team. And now we're all coming together and you know your role and you know your situation and you've been picked for a reason. Uh, and that's what they have told me. And that's what I've seen over these years uh, from Junior Olympics all the way up to now. So. The biggest thing is just the standard that you have to continue. Next, we'll go to Mark Anderson. You're on mute, Mark. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, congratulations. Um, your experience in, in winning the World Cup, does that help you at all as far as preparing for the, the Olympics? Um, I have no, at this, you know, this is my first Olympics, so I don't even know kind of how it's going to even look. It could be a completely different setup, but I honestly say yes, uh, because it gave us a chance to kind of mesh together, play against other teams and get into the system under Coach Daly. Uh, so yeah, I think so, but who knows, come Tokyo, it could be a completely different look, a faster, stronger, better team. So we'll see. <laughs> and, and have your teammate Chelsea with you, how, how, how a big deal is that to you? Oh man, uh, it's it's so it's a huge deal to have her alongside uh, myself and just to represent you know Las Vegas as a whole as a franchise on this big stage. So it's gonna be fun to play alongside of her even more. Uh, thinking that I could get a break from her, but now it's gonna be times three extra weeks. So it's gonna be some fun. <laughs> Thanks, Aja. Thank you. Sorry, my puppies are Thank right. you, Pepper. Uh, Pepper Persley's up next. Hey, Asia, it's great to see you. Congratulations. Oh, I love, wait, what breed is your dog? Uh, an Australian Shepherd mixed with a Poodle. This is Deuce. Ace is uh, somewhere around here. I have a mini schnauzer. He's eating right now, or I'd show him. Oh. <laughs> um, so you have one of the best front courts in like the whole world with yourself, Tina, Sylvia, BG, and Stewie. Can you just talk about that? I mean, it's, it's super dope, like to just to be alongside of them and to play uh, so young with the future Hall of Famers of our game is just epic. And when I look at it on paper, when I see us in practice, I'm like, oh, my goodness, we are big. Like, this is huge. Uh, so I'm excited to play alongside them and get tired of playing against them. So now we're on the same team. So I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> Thank you. Next, we'll go to Matt Dowell. 
Hey, Asia, Matt Dowell and wa from Watch Fox in Columbia. Earlier today, Don was saying how being an Olympian was something you guys talked about years ago as a goal for you. But I'm just wondering, at what point in your life did becoming an Olympian become on your radar, become a goal for you, just for you personally on your dream list? Um, definitely probably. I think it was in Caroline. Please correct me. I think it was U19 the second time with Coach Staley. Uh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I was on that team. Yes, uh, that was like a big thing for me. I think that's when it hit me that I really wanted to be a part of, you know, the big Olympic uh, team. And Coach Daly was actually the coach there. And it was right before my freshman year. So I didn't even get it. This was my first time playing under her with USA. And I think then that's when it really kind of hit me. Like, I want this to be a goal of mine. And ever since then, Coach Daly, I feel like, has prepped me has told me things that I need to work on or how things should be for me to reach this level. So I think maybe around that time uh, is when I knew that I wanted to become an Olympian. Thank you. Uh, next up is Cassandra. Um, I, I Please pronounce your last name. <laughs> yeah, it's Cousineau. Thank you. From lvsportsbiz.com. Hi, Asia. Congratulations to you. Um, I'm sure you're hearing of your counterparts around the league also being selected for uh, to represent their countries. Have you had any trash talk with Liz yet about seeing her in the paint? <laughs> uh, Liz made a comment in the locker room. She was just like, yeah, I'm going to be, you know, getting a gold medal. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, but that's as much trash talk as we had. Uh, but I, I'm excited just for everyone, even when it comes to just G uh, and what she's done with South Korea has been amazing. Uh, I remember getting so excited seeing her in Serbia, uh, just to see the way that she is with her team. So I think we're all bringing different pieces to our teams, uh, but you know, our main goal is, so I mean, I don't even have to say our goal, so <laughs> it should be fun. Thank you. And uh, we'll go throw to Japan and Takashi Shibata. Hello, Asia. Thank you for your time and uh, congratulations on your selection for the national team. Thank and uh, my question is, if you know something about the team Japan and you, if you have some general impression on our team, please share with me. And uh, also about the city of Tokyo, what do you know about it? So I went to Tokyo with my collegiate team, I want to say my senior year. And uh, the impressions were pretty cool. I just, the only thing I literally remember is that it had really good donuts. It was like this donut spot around our hotel and it stayed open late. And it was part of pretty much the only place that we could really go at night. And we went there and grabbed some donuts. Um, so that's pretty much all I really have from there. But, you know, I'm excited to go back. Uh, we actually got an opportunity to see where everything was before uh, the pandemic, of course. So uh, I'm excited to be back and, and to go back there and now see it live in action. Uh, Nafisa was talking about the tea in Tokyo and a, a podcast with you. What's, what's that? <laughs> Oh, uh, we have a podcast together, Nafisa and I, and we just hear, it's not really gossip, because we actually know, we actually have facts and things to back it up, but we call it uh, Tea with A and Fee, and uh, we're super excited to now have Tokyo Tea, um, and we're just going to be discussing, hopefully, what goes on with our team and our impressions on Japan. I think it's going to be really, really good. Uh, I'm excited, actually. <laughs> Bring your yeah, tea. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. And welcome to Tokyo. Thank you. And we'll throw it next to Matt Trapp. Hi, Asia. And the Olympics has always been a giant showcase for women's sports. How much do you hope that your team can take the opportunity this summer and that it gives you the chance to bring more attention and potentially investment, not only into the WNBA, but for all of women's sports? I mean, I, I, I'm just so hopeful and uh, I'm excited about it because this is the biggest stage ever uh, to really dial in on our sport. And like you said, women's sports as a whole. So uh, I know we're going to take care of business, but at the same time, you know, it brings everyone. You don't have to necessarily watch sports all the time, but when it comes down to the Olympics and focusing on just your country, uh, I mean, it's all eyes on you. So I, I'm, I know we're going to use this attention in the right way, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. Next question, we'll go to Megan Price. Hi, Asia, Megan Price with Sideline Sports and the Sports Arena. Congratulations on making the national team. Thank you. 
You're welcome. You bring so much to the table for the Aces, whether it's offensively, defensively. We know you're the reigning MVP. What do you hope to bring to your role on the national team? Ooh, uh, I mean, I, I just want to be whatever is needed uh, in, in my position. And if that's being a great teammate and going crazy, then that's me. Uh, I hope to bring a lot of energy. Uh, and of course, on the court, when it comes down to X and O's, is I'm going to take care of my job. Uh, but my biggest thing, and I think it's for everyone, is just playing my role, uh, whatever that may be. I know Coach Shelly is going to tell me uh, soon enough what my role is and just stay, sticking with that because that's how you win. Uh, when everyone knows their roles and you know exactly what you're going to expect from people. That's that's a good team. So for me, that's how I hopefully I can kind of enter in my way into the Olympic stage. Awesome. Thank you very much and best of luck. Thank you. Next question goes to Nick Hamilton with TG Sports. Hey, Asia, congratulations on um, being selected. Um, I know you're probably you're overwhelmed, but uh, you talk about this being a very big stage and an important stage at that. Um, where do you feel like you use your voice the most when it pertains to social justice issues in this country, especially with you and others, as well as having Don Staley as a Black woman head coach leading the brigade? Yeah, I think I'm going to continue to use it the way that I've used it uh, in the W uh, during the season. It's just I have a platform that I can speak on, and now the platform's gotten it even bigger now that I have Olympian tags to my name now. Uh, so I'm just going to use my continue to use my platform that I have to speak out on what I feel is right and what I believe in. And I know that I'm going to have uh, people behind me 100% and the strength in numbers. And like you said, when you have someone, Coach Staley, as a Black woman lead the way, leading the charge in this way, uh, you know, in, in my eyes, nothing can go wrong in this situation uh, because of my relationship uh, with her. So. I'm just going to continue to use my platform uh, and stand up for what I believe in. Thank you, Asia. Yeah. And we have time for at least one more question. I know um, Eric Wilson has been, uh, he's got his hand raised. We'll go to Eric. Appreciate it. Uh, Asia, thank you for your time and congratulations. So you heard what I asked your teammate, uh, just about the bigger picture, if you will. But let me ask you about being on the court you know, you have a very specific type of game that some people fear and might find a little intimidating. How is that going to translate to now you being an Olympian? Ooh, oh man, I don't know. I, I mean, the biggest thing with me is, you know, you don't want to fix something that's not broken. Uh, I know what I've worked on. I know what I bring to the table and, you know, the committee chose me to be a re for a reason. So I'm going to continue to just do that. Uh, I'm not the type to switch up anything because the big, the lights are a little brighter and the stage is a little bigger. I'm going to continue to be me 100% through and through. And yeah, that's it. Whatever comes out of it comes out of it. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> I might be true to myself, uh, whether it's to my game or just uh, you know on the off the court with my personality as well. Appreciate it, and love. The, I love the photo behind you, by the way. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. 